Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of satellite communications. In today's class, we are going to discuss about power systems with respect to a satellites. Okay. So we have already learned the concept of satellites. So what are these satellites? These satellites are huge mechanical objects or in huge systems. Okay. Which are uh, released into the orbital path for mainly for the communication purpose. So we will be having an earth station and these satellites will be revolving around the earth in the orbital path and we can establish a communication between them such that we can get the data whenever we require and whatever we require. Okay. So this is a concept we have seen and there are several types of satellites we have seen Leo, Mio, okay, Geo and all those kind of satellite. But if you observe the satellite patterns carefully, okay, it can be any kind of satellite. All the satellites are covered using solar, solar panels. Okay. So these solar panels behaves as a major source for the satellites to work and it helps in uh, giving energy to all the subsystems present in the satellites. Okay. For the communications to establish perfectly. Okay. Now take any satellite okay the body of the satellites or the wings of the satellite is fully covered with the solar panels where these solar panels we already know this uh, whenever a sunlight or the sun rays falls on the solar panel okay that uh, photons present in that particular sunlight will be converted into electrical energy and that energy is stored in several batteries which are attached to the satellites or any kind of system and that these battery stores that energy and this energy will be utilized whenever the satellite requires. Okay. So coming to the technical specifications of this power system with respect to a satellite at geostationary altitude at that particular height, the sun radiating falling on a satellite has an intensity of 1.39 kilowatts per meter square. Okay. So the sun rays, as I have already said, the energy is taken with the help of a sunlight using solar panels, which a photovoltaic cells will be uh, having in that particular solar panel. Okay. So at a geostationary altitude, the sun radiating or the sun rays falling on a particular satellite has an intensity of 1.39 kilowatts per meter square. Okay. And but the drawback of uh, solar panel is the solar cell do not convert all the energy or the incident energy or the projected energy of a sunlight okay uh, into electrical energy okay the solar panels exact efficiency will be ranging from 20 percent to only 40 percent okay so at the beginning of the life mostly at most it can give only up to 40 percent of the incident rays suppose uh, a hundred percent incident rays or a hundred percent of pure energy sun rays are falling in the solar panel. Okay. After conversion of that particular solar uh, sun rays into electrical energy, only a 40% of that particular sun rays will be converted into this particular electrical energy. That too, if at all that, per that particular solar panels are new. Okay. As the solar panels keeps on uh, aging or becoming old. Okay. The efficiency will also be reduced much more down, maybe like 20% or sometimes below the 20%. So always the sonar panels using some attitude control system, they will be uh, turned towards the sun rays and these solar panels are fitted in such a way that the sun rays will fall on that particular solar panels. And whenever that particular 40% is converted into electrical energy, that energy will be stored into the batteries which are attached to this particular satellite using that particular energy in the batteries okay the whole satellite will be working okay so in few satellites which are used for very far away distances and which are used for some kind of research purpose okay there will be along with the solar panels they will be also having the nuclear generators okay but most of the communication satellites rely on only solar panels where solar panels are nothing but it contains photovoltaic cells. Okay. These photovoltaic cells, whenever sun rays falls on that particular uh, solar panels, the photons present in the sunlight will be converted into electrical energy 
there will be a separate concept for this particular solar panel how that sun rays or the sunlight will be converted into electrical energy you can go through that particular science as well but the truth is only 20 to 40 percent of the energy will be converted into electrical energy on which all these kind of satellites are depending right now so this is how a power system of a satellite communication in simple way can be explained okay mm -hmm.